So this question says a circle in the xy plane has its center at negative 3, 4, and the point negative 2, 1 lies on the circle. All right, so part of me wants to draw a graph because that's what I like to do whenever I see a question that describes something that can be drawn, and I would just find where that center is, right? Negative 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 3, 4 would be the center of my circle, and then negative 2 and 1 would be there, which means my circle, you know, something like that. Having that point negative 2, 1 actually on the circle. Um, and then it says, which equation represents this circle? Okay, so I've drawn my graph. It didn't take that long. Um, I was hesitant because when I look at the answer choices, I see that all of my answer choices are simply in the circle equation, right? So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So I guess I was hesitant because maybe I could have answered this question without drawing, but whatever. I like to have a visual. So h comma k here represents the center of the circle. The center of the circle was provided. We know it's negative 3, 4, which means we should have x plus 3, right? Because if, if I plug in negative 3 for h, I'd have a minus negative 3, so that's plus 3. So x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared. Now equals, now here's, here's the deal, r squared. Well, my radius would be the distance from the center to this point, negative 2, 1. So I could use a distance formula. I could do that. I'm not going to. Um, I don't like to use a distance formula. I don't like to memorize formulas at all. So um, I am instead going to use quad. I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out that distance here. So I know that this length here is from four down to one. So that's three units. And now this length here is from negative 3 to negative 2, so that's 1 unit. So Pythagorean theorem tells me that 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared, the length between the center and the point on the circle. So I'd have 1 plus 9 equals c squared, so 10 equals c squared, and therefore c equals square root 10, and therefore my radius is square root 10. Now if r is square root 10, however... What I want in my actual circle equation is r squared, and r squared is just 10. So here's my answer, right? So really this question is more like a knowledge question than a strategy question because you had to know this formula first and foremost, and you had to know whether you use the distance formula or not. doesn't really matter. You had to know how to find this distance here, um, and then put it all together, right? And that's pretty much it. So the correct answer here, therefore, would be choice D. X plus 3 squared, again, we were given that. Y minus 4 squared, we were given that. Equals 10, we had to find that one.